everybody, welcome back. I got my melts to share with you, and um, I didn't melt a whole lot this week, but I melted a little, so I'll share with you what I did melt and let you know what I thought. And once again, these are just my opinions on how the wax performed in my house, and you know, it could be different for you, but let's get right into it. First up is a couple here from Candles from the Keeping Room in Hot Orange Danish. And I just love this scent. You definitely get the orange. You get a little bit of bakery. I don't know if I would definitely pick out that it's a Danish, but you get the bakery note and a little bit of a cinnamon orange scent. It has a really good throw to it. Bog Cranberry and a Sweet Apple is the next one. And this one's good. You get the apple. You get a little bit of like the tartness from the camp cranberry, but the cranberry is not real strong. I get mostly apple, but it's still good nonetheless. And the last foam candles from the keeping room is Tropical Cookie, and I absolutely love this one. You get like all the tropical notes, like pineapple, coconut, kind of like a pina colada type scent without the alcohol, and the um, cookie, the bakery cookie, and it's really good. I like that one. On to ones that I only melted like one of. <clears throat> From L3 is Coffee Bean French Roast Vanilla Hazelnut, and this was a pretty big chunk, and I forked it up, and this one I actually really could smell. I think her coffees are really strong and amazing, um, so I have good luck with most of her coffee scents, so this one did pretty good for me. From Cross Creek Country Candles, this was a scent called Monster Munch. And this was sent to me, and I think it was like kind of chocolate and caramel. But when I warmed it, I got a lot of chocolate from it. So it had a good throw to it, just not a scent that I enjoy. Because you all know I, I just don't like the chocolate. From Up the Creek, this is Cider Web. And this was just like, like a nice spicy apple cider type scent. Heavy on the cinnamon, but really good, really strong. Had a good throw to it. That one was really good for me. From Butterfly Lane, this is Almost Paradise, and this one was kind of like a coconut tropical scent, but just heavy coconut, and I tried this in my bulb warmer, because this is her older wax. I know she reopened again and is doing a little different wax, I believe is what I read, um, but I thought everybody, somebody said that her wax does good in any warmer. I tried it in a bulb warmer. I did smell it but it was real faint. It was a very light throw, but it could be because I didn't put it in a hot plate and I tried the ball warmer, but live and learn, I guess. <clears throat> From Derriere, this is Buttery Cake Bites Berry Brulee. This one was pretty good. Um, most of the Derriere I have good luck with. This one was good. It had a, I'd call it a medium throw, but it dissipated very quickly. It didn't last all that long. But you got like the creme brulee and the berry, but it just, it didn't have a long stay power on it. From Pix Petals and Scents, and I know she changed her name and I can't remember the name of it, I apologize. Pumpkin Spice Latte. And it was just a little tiny pumpkin, and I didn't know if I should throw two in or not, but I know sometimes you can smother the smell with too much wax, so I didn't want to do that. And one pumpkin kicked butt. I mean, it was really strong. You got the pumpkin, you got a little bit of like the latte, you got a lot of cinnamon, and it had a really good throw on it. I like that one. It was a mad throwing tart. From Sniff My Tarts, this is a blend that I had them make in French toast, dressed light cheesecake, and maple sugar. It's the popsicles. Hopefully you can see the label. And this one's good. I like it. It's just like a really super sweet kind of custard, sugary smell, and it's just... A really good scent. I like it. It throws well. It would be good to blend with, but I don't always blend. I just throw stuff in. Sometimes I blend. From Long Came Primitives, this is fried ice cream bread. And this one is kind of light. I'm noticing that some of the long, most of the Long Came for me, I like her wax and it does throw, but it's a lighter throw. And I like a stronger throw. So I decided to get some of these and just put more in. And this one you could smell, but once again, it was light. You got the cinnamon, you got the creaminess from the ice cream. It was a good scent, but it was lighter to my nose. Some people don't like strong scents, and I totally get that. From Rose Girls is Koopa Troopa Assault. I am not sure what all was in here, but I got kind of like a key lime, maybe sugar cookie type scent. Key lime and some bakery. Good throw to it. Nice creamy scent. It lasted a few hours. It didn't last long, but it had a good throw when it was throwing. From Rose Girls, this is Blueberry Muffin Coffee. 
I absolutely love this scent. I love blueberry. I love coffee. And this is spot on great. Um, Rose Girls Sniff My Tarts, in my opinion, best coffee scents there is. Period. Hands down. But I haven't tried everybody's. But just for me, in my opinion, I love their coffee. But good throw to it. And I just loved it. From Lasting Scent Candles, Ladies Who Brunch. This one was pretty good. It was a little light. And... It was kind of like a vanilla bakery custard type scent. I think there might have been a little bit of like maple sugar in there. But it was a light to medium throw and it was good. I liked it. But it wasn't super strong. But it was, you could smell it. I hope you know what I mean. I'm sure you do. You're used to my rambling by, by now. Um, this is a melt from Karma. Yeah, I can't remember her other name. She used to have another name. But this was in Sugar Cookie Bliss. And just pretty much a no-go for me. I couldn't smell anything. And I used the whole thing up finally. And I just, I got zero throw from it. Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Cookie Crunch. I absolutely love this scent. It's just a really nice, strong vanilla bakery scent. Kind of buttery. It's so vanilla. But it's really awesome. It always throws well. Golden Maple Waffles is the next one, and I'm trying to think of which one I put this in. I think I put this in my hot plate. I should have used two. I only used one. Next time, I'll try two and let you know how it is, but I could smell it, but it wasn't like blowing my socks off strong. I, it was just kind of like um, a little bit of maple bakery type scent, but it wasn't uber strong. From Food Network, Sunday Morning Pancakes, and I really do like this one. I always get a pretty good throw out of it. It's just a real nice creamy bakery type scent, and it has a good throw. Not real strong, but I call it a medium. From The Bathing Garden, Pistachio Almond Pudding. Love this scent. It's really nice. You definitely get like that nice um, pudding pistachio scent, really strong, good throw on it. One candle this week, guys. And this was in the scent of Grandma's Kitchen, and it is a Keepers of the Light candle. Also, I think it's produced by a Cheerful Giver. Oh, I hope you can see that. I know my lighting's a little dark. I don't know. I'm trying to work on it. But, um, burned beautifully, and it has a very small opening, but I could smell it burning, which surprised me, but it was such a nice cinnamon strong bakery cinnamon apple type scent it threw really good and just a quick note cheerful giver I believe is the company I looked up online and um, they do good things if you're interested look them up and um, if you see any of their candles out support them if you like candles because they uh, give jobs to adults who have mental handicaps and they can work as long as they want or as little as they want and um, they get paid so they can feel like they're contributing to their family. And it's just, I think that's an amazing company. And I'm getting a little choked up, but I'm just going to end the video here. Just look it up if you guys are interested. I am just interested in people who do good for others. And if I can help support in a little way, I think that's nice. So just look it up. Cheerful, I think it's Cheerful Giver Candle Company. Yeah. Alright guys, I don't know. Maybe my hormones are all over the place this week. But I'm going to go and I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.